Uh, our next speaker is a um, artist born and raised here in Vancouver. He is often cited as a member of the informally designated Van Vancouver School, along with artists such as Wall, Wallace, Douglas, Graham, and Arden. He has exhibited widely for over 25 years, including major exhibitions in Sao Paulo, Shanghai, New York, Berlin, and Istanbul. He has published extensively and was the co-founder and founding editor of Yishu, Journal of Contemporary Chinese Art, arguably China's leading contemporary art journal. Recently, he has produced several public artworks for the cities of Saint Moritz, Vienna, Stockholm, Leiden, Utrecht, and Vancouver. Currently, on a good day in Vancouver, you can see his boats, his shacks, and for many, a new pride of East Van. Please welcome Ken Lum. Um, I think I'm in trouble here because um, I had to ask the gentleman, gentleman sitting next to me what schwag meant. Um, <laughs> Uh, for, uh, I guess, since the very beginning, uh, my work has always been about um, identity, uh, especially as it intersects race and uh, difference. But I like to think about these terms not as some sort of utopian uh, term or some kind of exaggerated celebratory term, but to think about it as a kind of problem or rather as a kind of problematic. And I think that's where the sustainability comes in. I think once we disband with this kind of idea that all these terms are, are not freighted and not fraught, that we get into trouble, right? And, and they are problematic, these terms, because if they weren't, why are, the, why are we always talking about it? And why is there so much contention? And so that's, I think, it, once we start recognizing that in many ways, these terms are, should be it, discussed in the opposite of the way we like to uh, caricature them, then we can overcome um, the problem of um, unsustainability and so on. Um, um, and I think it starts with, in, like in this picture here, um, recognizing the trauma of dead ancestors and so on. Um, this is a picture from the Lima uh, Basilica which of dead um, in, indigenous peoples, and it lies opposite the Spanish conquistador Pizarro. Here's a very common scene around the world. One of the advantages, of, I think, of being an artist is that you get to travel uh, quite a lot, and, but I think it's very important to also recognize your privilege in, able to, to, in, uh, in order to, uh, to be able to travel and so on. I think too many of us um, don't remember that or don't try, try to imagine, for example, the subjectivity of others, uh, as particularly others who are less favored, less privileged, um, who uh, suffer through trauma, through oppression, and so on. And, and I tried to do that with uh, the, this work on, on the Vancouver um, Art Gallery, which was a, a millennial project. The Vancouver Art Gallery just said, do something about the millennium. So it's a very kind of broad topic, but I tried to, I think, uh, ach achieve something about the way um, you know, people arrived here and stayed, and, and, but through the intersecting lines of different cultures and, of course, through um, trauma again. And I think um, trauma, I think, is, the, is, something which is, I, is something which is very prevalent in this city. Every time I see these kind of postcards and images of Vancouver as this kind of beautiful place, and of course you see the Lions Gate and uh, the Lions in front of Lions Gate Bridge, I think that's not really the Vancouver I know or the Vancouver a lot of people experience on a daily basis. And I think once we start recognizing that, well, maybe that's not the image of Vancouver uh, that's true for a lot of people, then we can actually make the city a whole lot better. So my work is actually. Um, very often about, um, I guess, defying these, uh, these um, definitions, these very positive definitions. I'm not saying I, I'm not happy to be in Vancouver. That's not my point. My point is that for a lot of people, um, the city is actually foreclosed to them. Just as here in this picture of uh, Filipina nannies on a Sunday in Hong Kong where they take up all sorts of public spaces to, in order to um, just spend the rest of the day it, 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 here in central Hong Kong, which is a very chic area. And I would like to be able to think of the city of Vancouver being able to allow all kinds of things like that taking place. And I also think 
It begins with recognizing difference as a point of negotiation. Here's a picture in the West Bank of, um, uh, in the Middle East. And also to appreciate that these differences are, are, are things that we have to struggle with, not something we just kind of look at and say, oh, isn't that neat? In this work here, Mr. Fung is, uh, is, is a multiple person. He's Mr. Fung, who came from southern China. He's Mr. Fung, who has to learn English, F-U-N-G, which is different from the Chinese word for it. And he's also Mr. Fung in terms of the testee, who has to pass some whatever exam he has to test. So he has to fulfill all those um, obligations in order to um, uh, constitute himself as, as a person. And it also means, uh, in these mirror works, you look at yourself, but you look at yourself through the prism of others, that you recognize that we, even though we are different, we also have many common points, and we share um, these common points in a larger context of a community, and these common points have parallel memories and so on. They're individuated, of course, but these memories are, at some point, form a much larger conglomeration of, of peoples, and we always, always have to understand that we are defined by our relationship to who we interact with and the world at large. And here, Mr. Uh, Amir is doing everything to, uh, um, uh, to, to make th things go. It's obviously not a high-end shop, it's a thrift shop, and he's very talented. He can fix watches, jewelry, shoe repairs, and so on, and something is uh, bringing him to, back to Eritrea. So I like this idea of always trying to speculate um, imagine what other lives um, are like that are different from ours. And I think, and that requires a kind of openness to the question of love, that we have to be willing to love other people, and that's actually easier said than done. We also have to try to imagine um, alternatives, right? Alternatives that, in this case, that were foreclosed in the early 19. 70s, alternatives in terms of the way we structure our society, in terms of the values we hold dear, and so on. And, and that has to do with broadening uh, the, the um, possibilities of um, lifestyles for, for the city of Vancouver. I was always interested in these, I, these ideas of community. Uh, this work um, is actually about the residual community of a Vietnamese community. In this kind of, which is exemplified by this mini mall sign. And so people struggle and so on. Uh, this work, uh, Monument for East Vancouver, is not about pride, it's about trauma. It's about um, getting away from that ridiculous notion that those in the west side are the creme de la creme and those on the east side are the bottom of the barrel. We have to get rid of that really awful notion because otherwise it's, we can't sustain it. Thank you.